Hello, welcome back to Renunciation Life. In this episode, I want to talk about this um, Open AI Point E. Um, so you might heard about this a few days ago. They released this repo where you can try yourself. Um, you can install Point E uh, from GitHub, and basically, uh, there's a few examples where you can turn a text into point cloud or image into point cloud or uh, you know you can rematch the point cloud itself so the same idea like uh, the AI other AI tools out there you can prompt a text and then turn it into an image in this case it's turning it into a point cloud so still maybe giving out like a basic point cloud model um, yeah in, yeah if you try the AI the other AI whether it's DALI or stable diffusion or mid journey you can prompt a text and then hoping for some kind of output um, I have an example here I think yeah this one was actually from DALI but I'm using monster mash just to trace the output so we have like a 3d but this is not this is not what it is. We can actually create something that's actually looking like 3D. So if you want to use point E, the fastest and the easiest one is probably to use Google Collab. I have the one that's already running here. Um, and this Google Collab is from one little coder, YouTuber. You can click on one of his video and there's a link that will take you to Google Collab. Just click on this Google Collab and you it will open up in your own Google Collab. And you can run the whole things um, and create some 3D base from text, okay? So his Google Collab, uh, you can, the one I'm using is actually, you know, first of all, it's gonna load this machine, Nvidia, okay, it's checking the machine, it's got the Nvidia graphic card, so you can install you can git clone the point E. Now it's creating the directory and then you can install the requirement. Uh, the next thing, uh, like other imports, you don't need to do that. The models, we can actually skip, but there's an example with the chair like this. And you can observe the point cloud and then you can have the 3D point cloud based on that chair. This chair is looking quite nice. You can recreate this using Blender I guess this one is not too not too complicated um, but I want to show you okay first uh, we need to also import this sky image measure this one was missing the rest of the notebooks currently is still running something let me explain so what's under here is actually taken from another github so from shell work, I just, uh, this one is to do the point E batch prompting. Okay, so you want to perhaps prompt some 3D models that you want to turn into point cloud into 3D. So by default, there is this desk, table, lamp, TV, alarm clock, blah, blah, blah. The second one is my prompt, Lego Superman, dancing monkeys, statue, stealing god statue. Yeah, now this is still processing the whole thing, okay? So this is all the codes, that's, that's the job. All you need to do in Google Collab, just, just to run the code, it's gonna do processing for you, it's gonna create a point cloud, and then remesh it using SDF model, um, uh, then cube marching or something, and then it's gonna create the model for us, and the result's gonna be here. We can try my created or my prompted, uh, text or yeah I'll try this Lego Superman and Lego Superman PC which is just a point cloud I will load it into blender and I'm using the custom PLY loader so we can actually load the PLY this one it's from github as well uh, I think from tumbleweed so let's see if the Superman model give us the result we want so lego superman lego superman this is what we got 
we I think the color attributes is not showing at the moment in blender usually you need to create materials and under shader if we use color vertex color attributes yeah so this apparently <laughs> this is the output from Superman so at the moment this is the kind of result that you can get out of point E but remember you only like prompting it with the text this is how powerful it's uh, actually is so let's try got statue it might be it doesn't look like it is working too well let's try the table or let's try the desk so we got a desk here we can use the same material as this guy so apparently we don't have proper coloring on the desk anyway let's save this you know it's still kind of like historical in a way that we can we can prompt something we can get like 2d visualization or actually like a 3d output i think it's kind of it's kind of funny still uh, a lot of things to study and you know they they're doing research on this uh, you can perhaps in the future like prompting like a like a monster spider made of sushi but with spider legs or something like that mushroom let's try i think i made a couple today the lamp see we got a lamp this lamp actually this lamp actually has coloring <laughs> okay let's, let's see other things still processing the corgi cannot Cat on a pot already finished. Noodles on a bowl. Sushi, okay. Let's download sushi. Sitting sitting guts statue. Dancing monkey statue. Cat on a pot. Corgi. Noodles noodles on a bowl. So I'm just gonna try all of this. File import PLY as usual corgi let's just load all of this okay <laughs> we can use the same material just select all of this select this gun this guy last and then link the materials we have is it pikachu or some kind of pokemon oh that's corgi sitting guard statue this is a toilet maybe Oh, what is this? Dancing monkey statue here. Yeah. Okay. See, we got we got some result. I think this is kind of like the the lowest quality. I haven't tried the higher options, uh, the higher quality options. I believe increase to. You can increase the resolutions um, in here, grid size. I haven't tried this. Maybe we should do it down here. Guidance scale, okay. Yeah, the grid size, maybe I could increase it to higher but for now we can try running this once again with a different prompt so this is like a for batch batch prompting and the result is going to be the 3d mesh that we saw maybe you can say bad colorful bad Spider, fat airplane, colorful big cake. Just gonna run this, okay? We are because we already import everything, all the module that's needed. So it's gonna do the calculation. 
and finally we gonna run the prompts I think we also have donut here, donut colorful. I'm just gonna download it. File import. Okay, where's the donuts? Uh, Okay, we have dragon. Okay, dragon doesn't look like dragon. Okay, donut still downloading. Okay, it's taking a while. But I believe it's already generating our um, other prompt. So file import. Why be a why? Donut colorful donuts. Yeah, something wrong with the donuts. Oh, maybe it's it's some kind of different donuts, not with the the one with the hole. I kind of wish it's making like an actual ring of donuts. This is. Okay, this one is sushi. Also, it's not very good. Maybe it's it hasn't been been trained for sushi. But if you <clears throat> if you check their example, the point E. If you look at it uh, on Twitter, they have actually like a like a proper corgi. Maybe it's a higher res resolutions than the one we have here. But we have some kind of spaghetti looking donut. This is melting sushi. The monkey looks pretty good. Maybe this needs to be at higher resolutions, but this is pretty good. You can just perhaps sculpt it further. Let's take a look at the, the mesh itself. Seems pretty high res. I mean, it's a... Maybe in a, in one of the steps, when we convert it from point cloud, uh, because we, we do have the point cloud, and then we convert it using the marching cube. So the point cloud might look better. This is the 2D, the 2D render, right? From DALI, I believe it's because, because this is from OpenAI. And from this image, it's creating the 3D point cloud. And, and then we specify when we are converting this into 3D, we use this SDF model, and this is the grid. I think the grid size um, is what matters. We need to increase it maybe 10 times, so we get something that's a little bit better. Oh, it's still running the Superman and Dancing Monkey. Oh, well, I guess it didn't run. The one I specify okay anyhow uh, that's where uh, this is something that you can do quite easily yourself so from point E open AI point E if you want to run this you go to uh, one little coder YouTube you get the Google collab from this if you want to do the batch you use this github from shellward okay this is the whole code and yeah you can get this kind of output at the moment it's a little bit like kind of like a cheap toy at the moment uh, but this is still something that you can prompt you just prompt an idea and it's gonna spit out this weird base, base model it's not the highest quality but I think I believe the point cloud might actually looking a little bit better I haven't checked it out maybe I should do that as well just because I want to see the, for example, the monkey or the Lego, Lego Superman. Okay, this is the Lego Superman. Okay, not much different from this guy. So maybe the point cloud also is not as high resolution as I, ex I expect. 
stop this. If we download the Corgi, for example, Corgi PC.py file import. Corgi point cloud maybe more or less the same but you probably <clears throat> need to use geometry nodes and convert the mesh to points because we want to see the points and the color set material and under the shader We want to see the color. Hmm, interesting. I believe we do have a color attributes here that should be showing okay it's showing up if you use cycles and I think the resolutions might be a little bit low but we can perhaps go a little bit higher in the code and we should have a better result set point radius 0 0.02 0 0.01 okay 0 0.02 so we have the corgi here is pretty pretty much like the one we have here so this is the point cloud and this is after we mesh it i think we need to go a little bit higher in resolutions and we should be getting something that's a little bit better but this is yeah, superman corgi dancing monkey sushi and these donuts that's looking really weird i think the, they need to train more donuts we have lamp and the desk so that's pretty interesting this is cat on the pot not very good sitting gut statue okay not very good but this is the state at the moment but maybe next year it's gonna be higher resolutions but it's very 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 interesting uh to be able to do this simply simply by prompting okay <laughs> the dolly cat with the donuts actually looking really nice if you really want to turn this into 3d you can use mesh monster mesh and just trace the 2d for now just for now you can actually sculpt it inside blender as well of course based on that photo or illustrations or painting created by ai but monster mesh you know it's pretty easy um, just trace trace the yeah for example if you have <laughs> image like this you want this to be 3d you know like two two and a half D just trace this for example and then just inflate right this is one way <laughs> it's very very quick uh, but I mean you can do better of course but just in case you want to do it from an image. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.